Mic check, mic check. Hey, are we alive? Oh yeah. We're, we're late, we gotta go back. <laughs> You're watching Doc and Marty Live. And this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store or a portfolio. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. So you can try Squarespace today using squarespace.com slash Tony. You get 14 days for free, folks. You don't even need a credit card. This is insanity. And if you like it, and you will, you can use the coupon code portfolio and get 10% off. And also it tells Squarespace that we're great. Squarespace, they make, we like them, they're responsive. This is gonna seem real strange to like two thirds of our audience who doesn't live in America, <laughs> right? Because no. they, don't, they don't do this No, yes they do. This is a theme park ride in Japan. This is, this is a global sensation. <laughs> Trust me. I guess that explained it. If you want your awesome Squarespace site reviewed by us, go to scp.io slash link and give us your URL. We, re we will review a couple of sites during the course of the live show. You can also communicate with us in one of two ways or two of two ways. On Twitter, you can use hashtag TC Live and our producer, Justin, will toss it up on the screen. Oh, that's Justin's costume. <laughs> <laughs> Good hint so, as to what Justin is. That was so perfect. <laughs> well, the next slide will show our, who we're supposed to be. Uh, Justin, don't forget to uh, pause that video on YouTube. Ah, I just see it going, freaking me yep, out. Yep. Uh, and you can ask questions live during the, the course of the live show by writing a comment. And our screener, <laughs> Siobhan, out in Philly, will read them to us over the course of the show. You can ask questions during the course of the live show. This week, we're looking at Spooky, scary. Spooky. Spooky. Photos. So if you want us to review your photo live, it needs to be of this theme, scary or spooky, go to northrop.photo slash submit and send us one photo. And Halloween's we'll take a look at it. Halloween's my favorite holiday. It's a pretty fun holiday. So much candy, almost zero preparation. And Some people prepare more than 20 minutes ahead of time by pulling out <laughs> vests and lab coats from their closet. <laughs> Some people like order them or go to the costume I know, stores. And... But it's better when you really. Yeah. We improvise Halloween yeah, usually. It's better. We're pretty good at that. Next week we're doing a three picture story. So you're going to go have to go out and shoot for this one. So three picture story, pretty self explanatory. Uh, you take three pictures and they tell a story. So, and the story of this one is Sandy's waiting for a snowball <laughs> and then she attacks it. Simple, but you get it. If you want to know how to stitch your pictures together, you can actually do it in Lightroom. Of course, you can do it in Photoshop, but if you can do it in Lightroom using the print module, the Lightroom book shows you how to do that. If you wow, cool. You should buy it. Oh, right. I think everybody knew who we were. Well, we're Doc and Marty, <laughs> and Justin is Jason Mraz. That's why he's like, doop da ba doo doo ba. I still don't know who that is. Doop da ba doop ba doop ba doop. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we there's have t-shirts for sale. Justin. <laughs> I don't, there's not, there's not a lot uh, of photo news or anything this week. I Forget guess we can it. just get right into photos. Okay. Let's go Sound for it. Sound good. We have some chit chat later. Ooh, spooky and scary. <laughs> That's spooky. Oh, yeah. Ravens are spooky. Yeah, that is spooky. Um, Matt Granger told me that they eat out the eyeballs of baby animals. Spooky. <laughs> oh, you went black and white? Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Multiple exposure. This looks like the devil. Uh, so with long exposures like this in low light, this is a 15 second exposure. You can do this in one or two ways. Either you can move and have somebody light you up with a flashlight move here, light up with a flashlight, move here, light you up with a flashlight. Or you could just hold still for like five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Uh, I think he probably lit himself up with a flashlight or probably with the, maybe with the lighter. Uh, 
we have an example photo that we made that I think I have at the ready. I'm like making this a little bit grittier with a bit of clarity and it just makes it spooky. Spooky. Uh, let me just see if I can quickly pull up. What? I, uh, you have a spooky picture? Yeah, I was just going to say, we have a photo that did almost the same technique, except I can't get to it right now. So forget it. Oh. Ooh, awesome makeup. Yeah. Yeah, great background. They See, shallow depth of field here helped to blur out the uh, suburban <laughs> environment, which wouldn't have been spooky at all. It can be spooky. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the background can be an important part of the mood. Like, even just clouds or something would have been cool here. But the makeup and stuff is just fantastic. Yeah, really yeah nicely done. Creepy. Ooh, Ooh. I love that one. I love that. I'm giving that one a pick right away. Ooh. Yeah, it just it has a certain mood to it. I just want to brighten it. It is genuinely little. upsetting. It's very scary. Oh. To get a picture of a bat, I gotta say, wow. that is really hard to do. It looks like a bat at night, too. And I, I've managed to get a really terrible picture of a bat okay. flying during the day, which is yeah. hard because their flight is erratic and they're fast and small. Yeah. I don't know how they got it at night. I would love to know, especially with an EM-10. It's just that it's not like a super fast yeah. sports camera or anything. Yeah. Uh, so, fantastic. Nice, nicely done. Maybe, I don't, I don't know how you got that. <laughs> spooky friend, spooky photo bomb. <laughs> spooky photo bomb. It's not bomb. that spooky. It's pretty spooky. You don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe if you made the whole thing orange. Orange is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> if we say spooky enough, Tony. Yeah, it'll make it happen. That's it, part of the secret of being spooky. Is just say. Spooky. Now it's like, yeah, you have to say spooky a lot. That's not spooky. Spooky off-center composition. What's this? <laughs> He's spooky. I don't. He's not that. Sp it is a little spooky, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little spooky. Oh, uh, is that? Um, is this like Salem? Is this, is this like Auschwitz or something? Oh, maybe that's what it is. I, I don't okay. know. It feels like it. Auschwitz is a scary. <laughs> Genuinely scary yeah, place. Yeah, doesn't it mean like work will set you free or something? Okay, that's the spooky trump card. But I, I didn't immediately convey <clears throat> as spooky to me. Maybe if the barbed wire were closed up or if there was some more element of mood like foreboding clouds or... It's spooky. Oh. Ah. Another... So, so to get this kind of effect, they had 10 second exposure. They had the person stand there for probably five seconds and then just move. Yeah. And then you'll be exposed for half the frame, but you'll be see-through because the background will be exposed for half the frame. So you end up translucent. Chapter 10 in Stunning Digital Photography has a ton of info about this, including some info on how to make our kind of, uh, to make spooky pictures at night. Spooky. Chill button phony. Oh my God, it's so scary. Every friggin' day until you finally <laughs> learn to crop and bring up the shadows. Um... This is actually beautiful. So. Yeah, this is a dream come true for me. I would love this. <laughs> I was a big fan of the RoboCop. That's spooky. Yeah, it's it's an it's an excellent macro photography picture. And whenever I put up a picture of a spider, that I was like, this spider's cute, and everybody's like, oh, it's scary. So I guess people probably think a spider is scary, but I just think it's a good macro picture. <clears throat> <laughs> let's let's is he doing that inside out eyelid thing or does he have white contacts in no i think he's like rolling his eyes back oh yeah he's got his eyelids inside out and he's rolling his eyes back yeah he's pretty spooky in like that like middle school school bus kind of way <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of spooky he should be making a spooky face or something like Arr. yeah Maybe that's the spookiest part of all. Why is he so okay with this? Ooh. Good, some awesome makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I feel like this is mm -hmm. better than The Walking Dead, which is back on. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> better makeup job. Sometimes you'll be watching The Walking Dead. I love to just look really closely at the extras because they need to get like 50 extras walking through. 
And sometimes people will be like, ah. And sometimes they'll just be strolling through. <laughs> I like that guy. It's the guy I'm just walking. Ooh. Forget it. I'm not doing the grr sounds. That's pretty spooky. Yeah, I feel like that must be a character that I'm not familiar with. But she's got blood and makeup and stuff. Yeah. Scare me. <laughs> this one's good. Yeah, this one's good. I'm giving this one a pick, too. Uh, it has a certain mood to it. Yeah. The processing matches the mood. Yeah, there's no, there's no non-spooky elements in the background, so I think that's one of the problems with, like, this. Is, I know she's at, like, some convention or something. Yeah, kind of, and this looks like fairgrounds, and this, yeah, good. No distractions to it. That's adorable. Yeah, that is just adorable, bright green colors. <laughs> I don't, Area 51. I know, but look. Aliens. Will... Look. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your your angelic face. <laughs> but the cold dead eyes, I'm giving that one a pick. <laughs> he won you over. I like that the alien's behind the tree. That's a solid yeah, well, owl. They, That's adorable. First. Yeah. Is that a tree? Is it is it a cactus tree? I don't know. But anyway, aliens are notorious for being terrible at hiding. Yeah. People <laughs> You're not Bugs Bunny. Stupid aliens. Uh, it's adorable. Yeah. Moderately spooky. This is kind of beautiful. I think this is a great picture. Yeah. And it definitely qualifies as a Halloween picture. Yeah. Um, I like nicely it. done. No okay. distractions in the background. Great background blur. Yeah, you I gave like that the, a pixel. I'll give that five stars. The orange. Good job. Um, this is pretty cute. I, I see the spooky processing. Maybe the baby's running away from home. That could be spooky. Yeah, but maybe it's really a spooky. zombie. Oh, speaking Whoa. of. Uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. What is this place? I would love to go there. It seems like an awesome haunted house. Yeah, that's scary. Does anybody else out there have the kid who wants to go to the haunted houses all the time, but then is when you actually get her to the haunted house, she's terrified? I just, just don't know if this are is Are you a just talking about Madeline? I'm just wondering if other people in the audience. How could you call Madeline out? Maybe they have a like kid that? who just, uh, you know, it's like in, the eyes are bigger than the stomach type situation. This is good. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. I, I don't know. I think they probably moved the camera, uh, but it turned out awesome. Uh, great processing on it too to kind of accentuate that. I think that was a great concept. Nicely done. Get that one a pick. That's Ooh. great. That is really great. Another kind of multiple exposure, probably done with a long exposure. But like, I, I imagine this time they actually like hit the flash multiple times. Yeah. And then the white parts of his body were more reflective than the dark parts. Uh, I think we talked about how to do that in our book, Stunning Digital Photography. <laughs> Chapter 10, Night Photography. Yeah. Siobhan, do you have any comments? Um, only a few people either love your costumes or are very confused about Tony, but don't even seem to notice that you're in costume if they are not familiar with the characters. Weird. Which is hilarious. People don't know now, Back to the Future? <laughs> yeah, I thought people might not be familiar with Halloween, but I assumed everybody knew Back to the Future. Like, you all just watch American TV and movies, right? <laughs> I know I'm being a little ethnocentric, but we went to Japan and went to an amusement park, and they had a Back to the Future ride. Yeah. With Doc and Marty. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not usually trying to push American culture on people, but this is a can't-miss kind of movie. Look up Back to the Future. It's all over the place. It's coming back. Ooh, huh, this is great. Going. Um, this is great, and it's definitely in theme. I love the snow here. I feel like I'm giving this one a pick right away. Yeah. I feel like she's actually controlling the weather, like she's making it. The way yeah. she has her hands out there. The the makeup and the hair, absolutely fanta fantastic. Very monochromatic outfit with the where makeup kind of matches the, yeah. the dark tones. Um, Very cool. Absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Speaking of Sarah Bowman, she just wrote an article. This was not planned. But if you go to Northrop.photo, she has an awesome article on how to make it look like you have a gown with like 20 feet behind it. You've probably seen that kind of shot where a model is on the beach 
and you have this like long, beautiful dress, but those those dresses cost thousands. <laughs> and you can kind of simulate that. And Sarah Bowman shows you exactly how to do it. Yeah, it's in, that photo is incredible. And actually, she really inspired me. And I want to go out and shoot a picture like that. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a great article. It's free, Northrop.photo. It's our blog. So yeah, thanks for writing this, Sarah. An awesome picture. And write some comments and give her some support. Because I see she doesn't have any comments yet. And what? she did an excellent job. No comments. I know. It's, it's uh, so I don't know if I did already. I'm giving that one five stars and a pick. It's just a, a fantastic picture. It is. Whoa. Wow. We really inspired some people to use our faces in weird <laughs> wow. ways. Madeline even made this one. Nicely done. <laughs> uh, I think one of those is Cowboy. Look at Jason Mraz up there. <laughs> and Siobhan. That's very spooky. I guess we got to give that a pick because that is truly spooky. <laughs> oh, and they photoshopped great. a moon in my favorite thing. This is great, Finn. <clears throat> I'll give this one five stars. Yeah, that that's really great too. Uh, I keep a picture in my portfolio of dead of a dead of thing. Dead things? Yeah, and not people don't really like. I don't dead think that things. was a bird. No. <clears throat> if it was, that would be especially scary. <laughs> I, and actually, I don't know what that is. It has a very narrow head. It must be like a deer or something. But uh, I'm flipping forward through the to the dead stuff. Ah, oh, there we go. So this was my take on kind of dead things, and it was a, a dead cardinal, and it still had a lot of the color left in it. So I kind of processed it for a lot of contrast, and I don't think it's anybody else's favorite picture, but I just thought it was kind of beautiful in death, and uh, Finn caught. A lot of that I thought in the deep the contrast of the black and white processing it looks just perfect to me. Yeah, it's a, it's great. Okay. We got through those pretty oh wait, we didn't get through all the pictures yet. It just wasn't skipping forward. Murphy McFly were a lot of layers. Did that play, did that movie take place in the winter or something? Yeah, where does that take place, Justin? That's gotta be Some place called like Denver or something. Hilldale, California. I think it's Hilldale. <clears throat> Wow. Very specific answer. Justin wow, is Justin. like the Back to the Future trivia expert. We <laughs> yeah, I've just seen it like thousands of times. <clears throat> that is worrisome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's a classic. This is so creepy. What a great idea. Yeah, this it's turned out to be a, so just a really good concept. Unsettling and beautiful. I'm going right to give away. it five stars. It's really subtle. There's no gore or blood, but they just they made it scary. Yeah. Good job, Erland. This is spooky, like, this is this, the uh, picture right before the werewolf comes out or something. Cool. Ooh! Is this at a haunted house? I like that he has no neck. That That's scary to me. Ooh, really interesting. Um, beautiful makeup, good processing on the, the eyes, I think. I'm trying to think if I have any actual feedback for it. The background is, is very cool. I wonder what they did. I think I would actually kind of just play with the color a little more. Yeah, you know, it, it took me a second to figure out what I would do, but I would like less fill light. I'd actually like to see deeper shadows here. Don't feel like if there were just more contrast in her face? The, the lighting is like perfect for a beauty shot. But I think for that sort of spooky, scared mood, Deeper contrast would be good, but I, I think it's a great pose, great outfit, background, everything. Yeah, it's a great picture. Processing is nice. Oh, we have to give it a pick. It's nice. Ooh. This seems like there were a couple of movies like back in the 70s and 80s where a photographer would only discover scary things like in the dark room. They'd be taking pictures of people and then they, you know, hang up the strips of some film and once they'd look at them in the light box, they'd Oops. be like, oh my God, there's a hook around my neck. What's going on? That's what it makes me think of. Yeah, that's like, like they'd process her eyes and be like, "What? Red eyes? She's the devil." They're like, "Oh, I'm shooting on film. This is <clears throat> this is a pain." <laughs> that's pretty spooky. Yeah, it just needs something for us to look at, like a focal point. Like if a train came through and it was half there, or if you there's could like take an exposure here. Or, yeah, a mangled person. <laughs> Or it could just be the kind of like ah! half exposed. <laughs> this is really scary. That is actually a pretty fantastic comp. That's a that's a really great concept. They came up with an original idea. Well, is it? What is it? And uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, they kind of comp together like the computer Pick. coming out of you. 
Yeah, I gave that one a pick too. I, 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 I really like that. That's a, they came up with an original creative concept and I think they executed it brilliantly. <laughs> I just saw us on the monitor and realized how confusing this would be to someone that didn't know Back to the Future. You look insane. I just look normal enough where you just look like you're having a weird day. Yeah, and I keep feeling like I have to do the doc like big eyes thing. You don't, because I don't like when you do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, so it was originally so dark I didn't know what was going on, but um, once I raised the shadows, that's a nice, interesting picture. It looks cinematic, but I won't say that it's... Spooky. <laughs> Is that you? Oh no, that's you squinting so that you can see the highlights in the picture. Oh, that's my favorite trick at that at least that you've invented. Not everybody knows that. You should watch Chelsea's Lightroom yeah, videos you or should Photoshop watch them videos. Then comment on how you do things differently to get the same results. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is very scary. Look at this guy's face here. Wow. Whoa. Very cool. Yeah, so they have great makeup. Uh, the only thing that bumps me is that she is just so nonchalant about He's it all. Like, this is like, nice. Oh, this is nice hanging with friends. <laughs> you gonna crop her out? Yeah, like they should be like freaked it. out or doing something together. Still but. very cool. Awesome. That's pretty scary. Good Let's backlighting see. here. Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to peek into the shadows too. <laughs> I guess you still want part of this to be <laughs> blown out. Um, but yeah, we probably want to drop those shadows a little bit to I cut just, the noise. And so. now I think I can see a little more definition now. Like you're losing his arms. Yeah. And you want to see the figure, not just a, a hooded head. But I, it is scary. I do like it. Uh, but good concept going with the silhouette and the kind of classic hooded figure. Nicely done. That's it. Okay. Siobhan, do you have any comments? I have a couple questions from early in the show, but not much. Okay. Um, That's fine. What is the most dangerous thing to do to make a photo? Well, everybody always acts like the the train tracks are pretty terrifying. Like when you take that classic portrait on well, the train tracks. Well, people die that way. Yeah, so that's pretty dangerous. That uh, just happened like last week. Yeah. Oh, so more people died last week? That sucks. Yeah, yeah it's people, a lot of people, well, a lot. I mean, I don't know how you, how you figure that. But yeah, many people have died taking pictures and filming movies on train tracks. So pro probably don't do that, especially since I don't really ever care about those pictures anyway. <laughs> do you? Uh, no, at this point it's kind of cliche and hacky anyway, and that's that's almost as scary. You have a picture like that in your book, stunning digital photography. Train, train. Yeah, that's true. She survived though. <laughs> We're living on the edge. Those tracks weren't running anymore. No, lots of lots of train tracks are not in use, but I think people don't want anybody to do them because what if you, you get see the hit shot by a, and a somebody ghost wants to replicate train. it. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, lately, drones have been kind of dangerous. I don't know. There's always these threats. Like everybody acts like drones are really dangerous, but I haven't seen many drone. What about deaths. running of the bulls photography? What about running with the bulls? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty scary. Uh, people get hurt sometimes on the sidelines of like football games. Yeah, they just get charged, and you know, if you're a paparazzo, Alec Baldwin might put you in a headlock. Ah, good one. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Chit chat. My favorite segment where we comment on your comments. This one's from Christopher. He says, all googly gook talk started to doze off. That's an Australian word because we had googly gook. Australia resident Matt Granger on and I, I can't, I don't speak Australian. I think googly gook is um, like a lot of people use that. <clears throat> What's it mean? Just like BS. Oh. Googly gook. So, I don't know. Uh, clearly, he wasn't dozing off. He typed. Unless he's talented. Cadmus. Dalton is Tony's hero? Damn, these guys just get keep getting cooler. <laughs> uh, yes and yes. Oh, we were never cool. And, and the only reason I didn't dress up as him is it, like, what am I going to wear? Like, a kind of half mullet 
And then I don't feel like... Like, the rest of his outfits weren't distinctive, and I wasn't going to walk around like this. Yeah, but you keep making that face. Which face? <laughs> no. I didn't feel like anybody <laughs> would get the reference, sadly. Yeah, so we Back to the this. Future is more famous movie than <clears throat> Roadhouse. But Roadhouse is a funny movie. If you haven't... Funny. Pain don't hurt. It's like you don't care about the entire cooling industry, Chelsea. I don't. I went to dig up some... This isn't our best Halloween (laughs) costumes. I wanted to find the Burt Reynolds one, but this one was pretty good. I was Sally Jesse Raphael, and you were (laughs) Geraldo Rivera. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving. (laughs) Um, Laurent says, Get Siobhan a goddamn desk. (laughs) Like, what She's do you at think? a desk right Let's, now. Okay, let me show you my workstation. <laughs> Look, it's a big desk. That's pretty clean. Siobhan's moving, so she has like, boxes and stuff. I don't know what they want from me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what did We're, what Lawrence. What did you imagine she was sitting at? <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> People. All right. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of portfolios. Yes. Wait, no, these pictures are cool. Uh, we'll come back to those pictures. That's oh, yeah, that's called teasing, Charles. Zach, you gotta, we gotta go it. forward in time to the pictures. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best that people aren't commenting on the show because my voice really hurts. Uh, okay. Can you hear it? Here's simulated. Reality he by... He me all the time. It's like we're on two separate shows. Simi, this seems to be happening all in Connecticut. Do you know Simi you see, Rieger? Simulated. He leads a dual life, not unlike Batman, Iron Man, or Superman, or us, really. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is his Squarespace hosted portfolio. Let's see. Um... Okay. Yeah, great picture. I it has wish a focal it were more point spooky. Beautiful sky. These don't have to be spooky. It's a portfolio, but I, I can't be down that with... moon spooky. Yeah, I can't be down with big, huge <laughs> moons. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I feel like these are all, all very solid pictures of the Connecticut shoreline. Beautiful skies. This picture is my favorite so far. Uh, I would just, in general, say tone back the, the processing, like 20%. Okay. And we say that to most people. Most of the time when you process it, you get into the cycle where you inch it up a little higher and you think it looks better and then you inch it up a little higher and it looks better. That happened to me today. Yeah, it happens every time. So you just have to do your editing and then just back it off a little bit. Let's go check out your other category. Oh, I like fun stuff. I guess I'm just kind of hoping to see a spot Ooh. that we know in Connecticut because we are in Connecticut. Oh, gorgeous fall pictures. <laughs> Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, the fog here with the white birches. Um, Yeah, I think it's real. This again with the processing, like 20% less, 20% less. This one's really nice. Uh, A couple of pictures that are probably close to duplicated. I I really like this. This stick picture really works for me. Uh, This one is very similar, and I'd probably just take it out because it didn't grab me like the previous one did. Osprey Nest. I like that it looked like a different planet. Uh, what was the category you were interested in? Fun stuff? Fun stuff, because everybody likes fun, right? Cool. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that is actually really cool. I like that. This portfolio is great. This is a beautiful shot. Nice. Doing some light painting, spelling his name backwards. Cute shot. Well, I think... I'm going to have to give the old reminder that our viewers are ADD. And at, at this point, I would probably have one category and take your 10 or 15 best, best pictures and put it in there, just knowing that most people won't dig into multiple categories. Um, but I think you have an excellent portfolio if you were to, to boil it down a little bit. It can be tough, I know, to boil it down that far, but I think that's the best bet for you. Uh, and also go back to those original pictures and... and Back out some of the processing. That would be my suggestion. Yes, um, but overall, I think everything looks great. Great pictures. I want to keep looking. 
Yeah, there. Well, we saw that one kind of before. That's beautiful. I look a lot faster than you. That's great. Ooh, I love that. <clears throat> yeah, he has excellent pictures. Great portfolio. I'd only take out a few if I were you. Um, Andy has a store. Every Squarespace website comes a store where you can sell prints and have people buy them. Uh, let's see what Simi had to say about Squarespace. Easy peasy, not too sleazy. Setting up was nice and easy. Choose your template, make a change. If you don't like, then rearrange. Blogging social, lend a store. Who could ask for anything more? Never your pictures in one place. Sign up today with Squarespace. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was the best comment we've ever had, awesome. really. I think that needs to be our new motto. Uh, if you want your own awesome Squarespace website, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio for 10% off if you decide to sign up after your 14-day free trial. <laughs> you look so Charles? weird. What's so weird? You. I look weird? Yeah. I'm dressed up as a famous movie character. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. I like this. It's very, like, Criminal by Fiona Apple. <laughs> yeah, I like it, too. It it has an interesting story to it. No, uh, no, I like it. I'm, I'm tempted to put it into to black and white, but maybe not. Don't, I love the, the hard like light, the, the shadow the colors. cast by the knife. Yeah. The lighting choice was perfect. Uh, Ooh, spooky baby. Yeah. It looks like just like a marble statue that yeah. probably used to be cute, but is now spooky. What's that? Oh, just is like Grandpa. Like, is this splatter added in Photoshop? Yeah, it was definitely added in post, and <clears throat> it definitely, it took me a beat to notice it. I think overall... Uh, I don't think a, most people would notice. I think it, he did a pretty good job. Yeah, I, it, it's like a comp, a, a comp for like yeah. spooky Santa. Yeah, oh, Spooky Santa, I like it. Yeah, they put the axe in there. I'm going to give you a pet, because that scares me. Yeah, you put some good work into there. Oh, oh that one's pretty cool. I like that shot. Just a close-up of eye, wow. a simple thing. That's fantastic. Cool. Maybe that one to pick, too, because clearly some I effort went into Let's that. Let's look at that again. Ooh. Yeah, I, I love the movement of it, the zooming, uh, the see-through person. I love the... I wouldn't do any edits I get that, this but... disoriented feeling when I look at it. Yeah, I, I like this shot a lot. I yeah, I could definitely see that even in a gallery. It was it's really well done. Congrats on that. Great effort. <laughs> this is kind of goofy, but it's cute, spooky. Yeah, I I will allow anything costume related. Costumes are fun. Yeah. Uh, no distractions in the background. Pretty nice. Let's bring done. up the exposure because I can't really see what's happening. Look yeah. at all that. Look at what you were. Oh my god! Is there a spooky us? goat in there? What is that? It got way more spooky. As we raise the exposure, I don't know if that was part of the plan. Was that they, like, a spooky surprise? Spook like they made us spooky surprise. <laughs> spooky surprise. So I give this tip out before, but even in low key pictures where everything is dark, you want something Five. to be white. And you can watch almost any movie or TV show. Like Game of Thrones is a lot of dark scenes, but there were a candle or a spot of light or something. I don't know what the hell is in that building. Some sort of goat demon nobody <laughs> ever opens up that, that house and releases it into this I'm gonna pick we should I, I think i gave it five stars already okay that's a crap i like crows it's, yeah it's, it's yeah. falling the realm of spooky i think yeah it's spooky uh like what if there was a like figure in the doorway one. yeah there should be something and it had your taxes <laughs> just saying Tax jokes. That's what happens when you get old. Ah! This is real spooky. This is when you're in a, experiencing another culture and you want to be polite, but they're trying to make you eat something real screwed up. Yeah, this is when you just get invited to like a, a dinner party with some new friends and you show up and you realize you have to eat a pig face. <laughs> you're like, oh man, I just thought you seemed so normal. You're going to eat a pig face? Manners. Use your manners. And then you try to chew it and you're like, mm. Please turn your head so I can spit this out. Yeah, that, that's like when that's I first moved to New England spooky. as a Texan and then uh, everybody serves you like yeah, lobster, disgusting. which is basically like boiled cockroaches. And they're like, just eat it right out of the skin. Just rip it open and eat it with your fingers. And I'm like, oh my God. You're a sissy this baby. The grossest thing I've ever experienced. That was, that was scary. 
This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this is a fantastic picture. And um, I have an idea how to make it spooky. You're going to make it spookier. Yeah, you take a, a brush. We're going to put down the exposure. And then we're going to... um. We're gonna make a man. Ooh. <laughs> man. Oh man, this is getting real spooky. <laughs> this show is not for children. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it works pretty well. I okay, now it. I get to pick. <laughs> so, I'm just take it from the pros. That's pretty good. Uh huh. Do you think he should have a spooky sidekick? Am I yeah, going to I think you should oh, no. just keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chelsea's drawing hour. Okay, I'm going to move on. No. Oh, I guess you can draw on some other pictures. <laughs> All right, wait. I would love to see a sidekick, though. I think everybody's hankering wait, for a sidekick. Where's my... Where's my brush? Got my brush selected. Why isn't it working? Am I not? I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, oh, just oh. drag the exposure down. There okay. you go. Yeah, I think is... we're all ready. <laughs> we're real ready by now. This is his spooky dog. <laughs> a dog. <laughs> Thought it was in like a spooky ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe after all this you just drew a dog. <laughs> spooky birthday balloons? Oh, it's got arms. <laughs> okay, a little less spooky. I feel like we did it. Yeah, I, I think that's way better now. He's going to yeah. be really thankful that we <laughs> helped him with his photo. Wow. Uh, Bennett College, I knew I'd seen this building before. It's just got to be one of the most cool abandoned buildings. It is a really, really spooky place. I love what they did with the yeah, fun colors. Yeah, fun colors. You nailed two in one. Mm, spider. I, I always say you got to have the eyes in the picture. Yeah. For an animal. Grumped. The spookiest name. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's almost like Fearest not old grumped. enough, you know? I feel like you have to see that the <laughs> cemetery's a little worn out or, I don't know. I don't want to be like, oh, it's spooky, but it's still like What if they use my trick? Grandpa. You made a, a face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delusional. All right. That was spooky. That's spooky. They are spooky because they will eat the head of their They're partner. They're like this. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong bug. but <laughs> Yeah, they do. Yeah, they're, they're poor mates. Oh, we didn't comment on this. This is yeah. another spider. They're Again, spooky. you got to get the eyes in there, I think. Whoa. Um, yeah, this is an awesome jack-o'-lantern. He's got an awesome fire hat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to give it a pick. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Oh. Okay. She's well, in the cemetery. She seems to be like, like it's a, you know what? That's one of those like partial exposures. Like if she were partially translucent. Maybe like a ghost risen. Oh, your processing's great. You can do a lot with the mood with the processing. And yeah, but just by lowering the, the vibrance there, it feels a little more old timey. Yeah. But yeah, if you did a multiple exposure here, had her move out of the way or a long exposure and had her move out part, part of the way through, it really, really helped convey with a little bit of fuzziness. Yeah. Cool picture. I'm going to give it a pick. Okay. Oh, look at this little spooktastic guy. Okay. Oh, what is the the movie where they they tie up the guy Trick and the, or treat? Maybe I don't know. Oh, you really jumped on that. <laughs> is it, trick or treat? Does it look like this? The first thing I thought of, yeah, was that there's a character in Trick or Treat that looks like him. I uh, haven't seen that. Is that actually scary? Because I need to see some good I scary really movies. I really like it. All right. Yeah, we can actually use suggestions for good, good scary movies because uh, we've probably seen them all. We're all out. Uh, I actually don't know the keyboard shortcut for rotating things. Um, I know I can do it from the grid view. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. There we go. 
This is more like sexy scary. Yeah, there's not uh, the you know the lighting could be better, better, but I think the the makeup job is good. There's no real distractions in the picture. Let's see. Um, but sometimes you know something else the the outfit or the processing or the background can help support the makeup. So yeah, Chelsea's doing what she can with the I'm trying processing just to support it a little bit better. But think about the mood chapter chapter three of stunning digital photography too. This is chapter spooky. Two. <clears throat> yeah, so there's a lot there. The the way they've kind of processed it, almost monochromatic, and the uh, very contrasty look disappearing into black. His expression is consistent with the makeup and the outfit. Uh, I also like that he's dressed up for like a nice dinner. Yeah, he's going to a spooky guy dinner. I give him this. What's this called? Like, is that a, a dicky or a cummerbund? N neither. I don't know. Like, I'm not a werewolf expert. That was a vampire. <laughs> I'm not. Clearly, I'm not a vampire expert either. <laughs> this is a cool picture. It is. Yeah, I, I think it's a really nice landscape. Love it. You want to draw a bat in there and make it spooky? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why. I just, I just imagine. There you go. That's spooky. Oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, Thanks. Our viewership just drops off steeply every time oh, Chelsea I starts drawing. I don't know. That what was a hurtful thing to say. This spooky. That's not spooky. That. This is spooky. Yeah, she's spooky. They they set up a whole scene for her, not just the makeup. But the processing's pretty consistent too. Uh, I like yeah, it. I nicely done, pick. Lance. Who? Oh, this one's awesome, but it's by the same guy. You're only supposed to in, send in one picture. Okay. Nonetheless, I really like that picture. Oh, this is excellent. It's supposed to just make fun of you. What a great seasonal picture. This would be great for stock. You should submit it. Yeah, I actually think this would just flat out sell for stock. Yeah. Uh, I I would make the moon a little bit blurrier, but that's just me. Uh, otherwise, I think it's it's just a, a great composition. And yeah, send that over to Photolia and that will sell. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're going to fix the exposure and drop the clarity probably. Yeah, that just makes it look a little more natural. Minor edit, but a good one. When the moon's sharp, you can tell it's fake. Be in the thumbnail, but once you explore it a little bit, yeah. you're like, whoa. That makes it spookier, and it's just, a, it's like off level, so it's just uncomfortable, like the whole picture is tilting, and I, I, I hate it, and I love it. Yeah, and they're kind of violating the rule of space by mm -hmm. having them so close to the edge. Everything's you really do, uncomfortable. Yeah, something like spookiness, yeah. That's, this would that's be a one idea. of those like, things where, great concept. in a movie, they took the picture and nobody was there, and then they yeah. the film, and they're like, who the hell is that? <laughs> oh, what's spookier than your rotten pumpkin at the end of the season when you have to pick it up and then all the pumpkin guts get on you? That is spooky. We saw that. Oh, no. Wow. This is just creepy. This baby dead. Um, yeah, it's almost so realistic that it's, it's a little bit jarring, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I like dropping the vibrance down. I like it. That cute, spooky. Oh, yeah, that was cool. That's good. Yeah, this is a, a good cemetery picture. <clears throat> it's hard like to get a good cemetery pick, but mood. you did it. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it's like a happy Halloween happy, picture, spooky. but that qualifies. I think it's well done. Yeah. That is spooky. It, it Yeah, it is like, ew. <laughs> okay, black cat. It is a black cat. Let's remove the distractions and bring up the. Okay. Oh, wow. excellent. This picture is beautiful. Just stunning. Giving that one a pick right I'm away. I'm giving it five stars. That is so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm hitting R just to <clears throat> force Lightroom to zoom in a little bit, but. Um, yeah, I, I just love the, the lighting and the way the light kind of shows off the texture of this and uh, great concept yeah one of, maybe the, my favorite shot that we've seen tonight and yeah. we've had a lot of good shots but this one's really wonderful great job on that I just have no 
That's no it. Feedback for you. Siobhan, any comments or questions? Yes. Yep. They've picked up a bit. Um, question about you not dressing up as Roadhouse. <laughs> Um, do you guys use Google Photos? And if you do, do you have any thoughts on it? Um, every once in a while, we'll use Google Photos. Like, I used a cupcake for Siobhan's birthday. And that's what they mean, right? When you just search photos? Oh, no, that's oh, Google no. Images. Google Photos has a service that will take your images and upload them to the cloud. Oh, 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 sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah, so they kind of scale everything down, but it's kind of a free way to back everything up. Um, I showed you Google Photos because it would do the thing. It would, like, compile pictures into little movies for oh, you. Oh, that's and right, yeah. It would yeah. make little photo stories for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I covered it in a live show some number of months back. Yeah, but uh, that was great because it it figured out where you were and, and what time it was at, and then it compiled little stories for you. Yeah, I will say I, I didn't have a lot of luck with the, the syncing tool. Like, it just <clears> kept <throat> failing randomly. It's supposed to just sync with your computer in the background. Um, but I, I have like hundreds of thousands of pictures. So it, it could be something to do with that. Okay. Maybe other people have I thought they meant it. the royalty free pictures. Oh, I yeah. I use like the free pictures for stocks. Um, but I really liked Google Photos <clears throat> minus the couple of hiccups that I had with it. It also had pretty amazing face recognition in it. Like vastly better than what Lightroom does. Uh, you have anything else before we take a look at uh, Andy Shields portfolio? I do. Oh, I like Andy Shields. Yeah, me too. He wrote for us. Um, somebody sent you guys a bottle of rum. Did you get it? No, we never did. No, we didn't get a bottle of rum. Johnny Long name. Yes, I know. He said that he was, and I, I felt bad because we just didn't get it. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I would love a bottle of rum. I don't know. <laughs> but we will get a bottle of rum and we will consider it from you and we will drink it in the spirit of your gift it's the thought that counts maybe somebody the in the postal counts. service also likes rum yeah i bet i bet Seriously. someone stole it stinkers um, what are your favorite horror movies <gasps> the baba duke oh the baba duke is is one of the best <laughs> ever not even well it yeah, follows it follows a recent one that's kind of timeless and fantastic uh, I was always a fan of Misery. That's not, a good one. Not the oh, first nice. one that pops into everybody's mind. But Silence of the Lambs is a classic. Yeah, and, and The Shining, I still think, holds up after so many years. Kubrick. Uh, what, what comes to your mind, Justin? Are you not really a horror movie fan, are you? Uh, not really, and it's a little unconventional, but I did just watch Clockwork Orange, and that was horrifying. I like yeah, that, that movie. It really is cringeworthy. Yeah, That's Kubrick. a good movie. How about you, Siobhan? That's really funny. We were just talking about <clears throat> cinematographers in the comments before the show started, and we talked about The Shining and Clockwork Orange. Oh, I did not see um, this. I love horror movies. I do, too. Um, God, what are my favorites, though? Shining used to be my go-to. Yeah. I really like the original version of The Eye, which I believe was Korean. Um, I don't know. I really like the supernatural ones. There's a lot. I can't think of any right now. Yeah, I don't really like the gore ones like Saw, but I like the more supernatural thriller type ones. You know, I think this is the scariest movie I ever saw was, uh, I saw Blair Witch in the theater before that was a genre. You know, the kind of fake first person thing. Yeah. Before we were really in on it. And it was yeah. like opening night and Blair Witch, with that, without knowing about it, Blair Witch was awesome that way. I don't think anybody could enjoy it in the same way now because we've seen you know, paranormal activity and so many of these, like, of that yeah, genre, but yeah. sub-genre. Okay, we'll take a look at Andy Shields' portfolio, and we'll come back for some more questions, maybe some more pictures if we have them. Andy Shields also wrote a blog for us, and it was excellent. He has his uh, portfolio broken into different categories. Yeah. Ah. This is street photography. Oh my gosh, that's incredibly spooky, Andy. You should have submitted that picture. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's trying to be happy or not. I don't like it. Um, so he has multiple categories here, but it's not bothering me so much because they're kind of constantly on the screen. 
Yeah. The last portfolio we looked at had multiple categories, but I had to kind of close it and go back. So just that one extra click makes it easier to, to scroll through. I love his eye for symmetry and reflections, and that's what his blog was uh, on, using reflections to enhance your photos. Yeah. And, and he just has a great eye for that. <clears throat> and, you know, I kind of flipped past this one at first, but on second glance, I almost came back to it to say I didn't like this picture, but as I'm looking at it, I really like the, the geometry and the yeah. angles of it. It just took me I love that more one. than a beat to appreciate it. Yeah, you can see this, this is a, a really powerful picture. Uh, and the sky in the background and the careful black and white processing adds so much to it. A lot of symmetry in those. That's great. Yeah, that that's a really fantastic picture. I keep reaching over to hit the P on the keyboard to give it a pick, but in Lightroom. Um, I'm not getting that picture. Are you? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Um, it's not as strong as his other pictures now. Yeah, and maybe I'm just not seeing it. But uh, just because there's so much strong work in your portfolio, I actually I'm blaming myself. Like you must not be up on what's going on there. Uh, so these are his kind of uh, portraits, and I, I like that they're more. Casual and less yeah, like. Yeah, we've reviewed his before. And oh, really? Yeah, he has a very strong portfolio. Yeah, uh, this is a really strong portfolio, and his blog is current. Um, so we were able to give a little bit of feedback, but that, that's a really cool portrait through like the waist level viewfinder yeah. on a the camera. Uh, there's not much feedback we can give. I like the layout and the content. Do you have any feedback for him? Is there anything productive we can say other than like good work? No, I, I really like it. Uh, what did I do with his Shields portfolio? <laughs> those are cool glasses. You need to wear those out. Oh, there we go. Andy says about Squarespace. <laughs> Fantastic templates and layouts. Squarespace offers a suite of mobile apps to support my site. I especially enjoy the blog app for mobile, mobile blog uploads. If you want your own Squarespace portfolio, where should they go, Chels? Squarespace.com slash Tony. And use the coupon code portfolio. <laughs> or as Jason over there would say, ba -da -ba -da -ba -dee -ba -da portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> there was a disruption in the time space continuum. <laughs> of your hair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we just got this in. This is the. DJI Osmo or Osmos, and I don't think it has a battery, Osmo. but it it does. It just requires reading the instructions. It was more for me to figure out. Oh, okay. Well. Oh wait. Okay. I did get it to take a picture too. <laughs> I was trying to get it to actually do the gimbal oh, thing that it Sorry, does, guys. but uh, yeah, there's like two or three locks. Yeah. Which I haven't figured out. We literally got this in. Yet. I need oh, it. Oh, there we go. Mm. Okay, you can play with that. It allows you to take 4K video, but it's nice and smooth and stabilized. So you can get those like moving shots that should be nice and smooth. We're going to give it a review. I actually have a lot of confidence in it DJI knows what they're doing with these types of products. We have gone through at least like five different techniques to try to get still <laughs> moving shots, picture, and yes. none of them have worked. So this maybe this will finally be I I broke it. the one that gets the job done. Uh, while Chelsea breaks that, I'll import <laughs> some more pictures. Siobhan, do you have any questions for us? At all. Yeah, sure. Um, oh. oh. If you could pick only one focal length to use for the rest of your lives, what would it be? 35 millimeters. Chelsea? <laughs> 35 millimeters? Yeah. It's a good all-around focal length. For the rest of your life? Uh, maybe like... Maybe like 70, because then I could just do portraits and make a decent living. What are you doing with 35? Street photography? I, I guess I was just thinking general photography, but I like that you were just very practical about it. You're like, yeah, I can't do portraits of 35 millimeters, and therefore I won't be able to shoot a wedding. We're making a cat. Yeah, I have to live my life. Okay, <laughs> good answer. 
Chelsea living her life. <laughs> uh, that was a good question. Do you have anything else, Siobhan? Yes. Um, this is confusing. If you could go back in time, what would you tell your future photographer self? Um, uh, uh, past photographer self? or I know it can get really confusing. Uh, <laughs> if you could turn back home. I'm your Dr. Emmett Brown. Here's, here's another more specific one. Okay. Similarly. If you could go back in time, is there a photo shoot you have done that you would have avoided? Oh. I don't think so. I would definitely have avoided that that one where he wrecked two Canon 5Ds in the <laughs> rainstorm. <laughs> that That's true. Out to we be didn't even costly... get great pictures. No, we didn't get great shots on that one. Uh, but I, I don't even know what I would tell my past self. I I guess I don't know that I made any huge mistakes. What about you guys, Justin? I, I live with no any? regrets. Focal lengths or regrets or anything? No? No regrets. Nothing? Well, lots of regrets, not photography related. <laughs> yeah, I know. Generalize it a little more. I pretty much nailed it with photography the rest of my life. I just wrecked. <laughs> That's not true. You chose me. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while. Okay, well. Here is a spooky spider, and at first I thought, eh, this is a regular spider, yeah, but, but then look. terrifying babies. Yeah, look at the babies on its back. <clears throat> Stop it. That's that is terrifying. Yeah, I genuinely went like, ooh. Yeah, that's that's very scary. Ooh. Oh, that's a great little mood there. If what there a was great a little, little mood. dude out there that'd be even spookier. But <gasps> I could do it. I love the fog. I'm the man for the job. You jumping on it? No? I'm the okay. Man for the job. <laughs> how, how, bad, Siobhan, how badly do people hate Chelsea's drawing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like whenever I really love something. Surprisingly, some not at all. Oh. Whenever I really love something, Ooh. the peoples hate it. Spooky. Oh, who is this spooky? Armless man. Oh, one arm man. Sassy hands on the hip man. Looks <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. He could walk through the walls if he wanted to. <laughs> uh, so I think it's a spider with a, a moth. <gasps> But you can't really see much of the action. Kind of want to see more. Murder behind curtains. Sometimes you have to leave a little to the imagination, Tony. You'd know that if you were a Catholic girl. I <laughs> uh, cracked me up. What is this? Uh, I think we might have even seen her before. Uh, it's a spooky oh. witch. I just wanted to crop it down a little bit because I think we can imagine the top of her hat. Uh, depending on how you presented it, you might want to have to bring out a little more detail in the shadows. But overall, I think it's a Pretty good picture. <laughs> Another eye close up. That's a scary eye. From Chris Henry. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's almost reptilian. <gasps> oh. Yeah. He is very scary. Look oh. at those scary <laughs> teeth. Kind of like the teeth of an old man. All right. I'm he's, gonna he's actually this up. really cute. <laughs> no, he's not. He's so scary. He's not scary. Looks really sweet. You know, he's a good boy. He's just really old. <laughs> That's my spooky eye sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you're moving you on? You had more? Okay. Well, I was just going to desaturate it. All these nice bright colors on this spooky, spooky day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, add that sound to your photos and they'll be spookier. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's scary. I wonder what they did to that dog. I. What I, is this? I don't know what this is. I can't tell what's going on. Uh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. it's like a spooky skull and a Banding. stick, but yeah, clearly we have to raise the exposure of this because I I could not even make it out. I think there's some fire down there, but also that doesn't necessarily mm. convey. Uh, Cooper is pretty sp spooky here. I like this picture. I like the mood to it. Very distinct. Oh, the distractions. The so scary. Um, the fog is pretty good. Pretty well done. And uh, I like the way it just fades into black behind him. I like Eyes are cool eye, and spooky. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I like it. Oh, I have to give that a pick. 
Ooh, ooh, what's this? Nothing. Yeah, you wanted something to be there. I thought right? that was a, a man. Yeah, it just needed that that one extra thing. But overall, the environment is cool. This hard line, you just need to soften that because the fog looks good. Yeah, you just it have does to look blend good. it into yeah. the non-foggy foreground. But yeah, this I thought this was a man. Um, I think it might just be they just might miss the processing in that yeah, part. Yeah, I think you could fix it with like a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, this is too spooky see yeah <laughs> it's much spookier <laughs> I I don't get spooky on this one <clears throat> okay I like it though <gasps> She's got a good mood and expression. She, he, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, great mood out of it. I like the hood. Nicely done. Good processing on it, too. Good. The color's good. I don't know what I was thinking. Excellent. Oh, let's give it a pick. Ah, oh, oh, more baby spiders on the back. <coughs> <laughs> that is spooky. Yeah. I think those are handprints. Oh, this is Chris Advil. We met him uh, at Photo Plus. Oh, did we? Mm -hmm. uh, the, her, her makeup's fantastic. The blinds in the background kind of take me out of it a little. Those blinds are spooky. They always get broken. <laughs> they do. They, you can see they're actually broken a little yeah. bit. <laughs> right there. Uh, yeah, this feels like, like a world of warcraft kind of stuff like she's got crystals that she's hovering yeah i think overall it's a, a good kind of five uh ah! cosplay edited photo this is like when you're a new parent and you're just not sleeping that's really good makeup it looks like his nose is coming off yeah they changed one of his eye colors to blue wow or what do you call it tetrachroma something like that it's poor folks <laughs> Only because people are like Pick. indicating that it's scary to have <laughs> differently colored eyes. The scariest vacation. Yeah, I think so. There's a long exposure, and some people just stood there, and that would be spooky, except they seem to be tourists kind of looking at maps, and like there's a baby carriage here. Dead baby. But I see what they're doing, and long exposures can end up being spooky. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is an awesome one. Very thoughtful. I do like it brighter. I really couldn't see enough of it. Yeah, let's just make uh, sure there's a little white. Yeah, make sure there's a little bit that's bright. And uh, overall, great it. expression and makeup. I, I love the hair and the mood and the crop on it. I'm definitely giving that one a pick. That's a, a fantastic and really well done picture. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, really advanced stuff. Is that Ted Danson? <laughs> <laughs> love Ted Danson. Yeah, these people really got dressed up for their zombie party. They should be in Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Justin gets me. All right, that's cool. That's a party I'd want to go to. This isn't spooky. No. But it's a great picture. Yeah, there's there's no distractions. The mood is great. The setting <clears throat> is great. The makeup and everything is good. Yeah, that's getting there. Devils and spiders. Oh, that's spooky. The eyes. Yeah, I just, I wish you were doing something, you know, spooky. She's just, she's being. Yeah, or just Whoa. had some expression in her eyes. Like, Whoa. she's got some expression in her eyes, right? Whoa. This picture is scary. Like, this that's picture just scares me. Legit scary. If you were is just mix that into your fo photo album. Uh, I, I would say it's both spooky and scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great shot. I love it. Yeah, really well done. Oh, there we go. This is very ghostly. <clears throat> wow, I didn't think we'd get a lot for this category, but you guys are really bringing out the spooky. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. That's scary. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, maybe a little more intensity with her eyes. This oh, is adorable. This is, yeah, this is just plain adorable, but because it's Halloween, I'll allow it. I also kind of like the... <laughs> Off-center composition and the negative space above her, it, it almost gives a sense of like something 
foreboding. It is creepy, like the, the tree branches, and she looks innocent, and like something terrible is going to happen. So yeah, I would great. just get rid I'm of that. I'm going to give that a pick. I would just get rid of that, <laughs> like these leaves back here, and just leave the branches. All right. If she had a little bit of a spooked expression on her face, just I know it can. She's not a forty-year-old actor, but a little this kid. This is cute. That is cute. That is scary. Yeah, what ha happened in that environment? That's like what it looks like if you is it ectoplasm? use a, a black light in one of my hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I just want to keep on rolling with it. Pretend you never said that. This is adorable. Oh, this is like Silence of the Lambs, except the Batman thing instead of the moth. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, I know what you're talking about. It's Batman. That's cool. Yeah. These glasses nice. are sliding down my head. Oh, that's, that's an awesome scary. picture. Yeah, there's a, a great mood to that. The lack <laughs> of sharpness really works here. It feels like a print that you would find yes. somewhere digging through like the last thing that somebody saw before like they died. Like you're working <laughs> when that happens. That's very scary. Good job. Yeah, great job comping that together. Any more questions, Siobhan? Yeah, I think you got through them. I think we got through all the pictures today. Yeah, I have a few. Yeah. Um, what is the best advice for someone who runs out of photo ideas and has done it all? Well, every week we give you new inspiration. And there's no way you've done it all. <laughs> uh, you can look at other photographers' work for inspiration. You can think of concepts for inspiration or feelings or life events. Let's say you are in debt, show it in a picture. Or you feel you have a cold, like I do, show it in a picture. There's no way you've done everything. Um, and then you can do photo projects. We have them in our book. Shoot a brochure for your town. Yeah, Meditation every, photography. Every chapter has projects that we suggest for you. So yeah. like maybe they really have worked through it all, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I so doubt it right now. So yeah. That's what you have to do. You have to just reach. You can get your best work from that. A lot of my pictures just come from things that happened to me and I just turn them into a picture. Like I have a picture of me with blowing bubble gum and all these fingers trying to poke at it. And that was a response to like just all the, it was just representing all of the criticism kind of everyone gets all of the time. And how, however, however, whenever you create something, there will always be someone there waiting to burst your bubble. So take a feeling or yeah, a Yeah, you could do conceptual it. photography. Yeah. I also think you can just inject, we all lack creativity and inspiration sometimes, but inject a little randomness into your life. So uh, photograph a dream, like find a way to, to photograph the dream that you just had. Watch a different channel. Watch yeah. random movies and TV shows and look at the way they're filmed, look at their shots, but also just take inspiration from randomness. Go to a different place. Drive to a random town. Or take something that you like, uh, something in your house or a prized possession and make a story around it. Maybe you have like a vintage camera case, make a story around it, or a cool hat, make a story around it. There's always something to do. Yeah, but if you're completely out of inspiration, then you need something, some new element in your life. You need to inject something new, some randomness. I bet he already has an idea Go right someplace now. random, just drive and take the wrong turn. Yeah. And keep going. Yeah. Talk to weird people. Talk to me. What else, Siobhan? If there was a movie made about your life, who would you like to play you? Uh, I don't know. Who would you like to play you, Tony? Billy uh, Bob Thornton? Patrick Swayze, but it's too late. So, yeah, I would have to go Billy Bob Thornton. Who do you think would play me? Chelsea Handler? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I was thinking, uh... Rashida Jones? Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz? Yeah. Ooh, I would love Rashida Jones for you. I love Rashida Jones. I, I know you don't look like Cameron Diaz, but I don't know. I imagine her personality is similar to yours, and I think they could do more with makeup. But yeah, Rashida Jones, good answer, actually. <laughs> Probably a better answer. Cool. Justin, who would play you? Jason Mraz? Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Good answer. Tina Fey would play Siobhan. Oh, yeah. Good one. Any other questions? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, It's sure. just Thursday. 
is just Thursday. Yeah, we've only had two live shows this week. Why not? We are like making with the videos lately. <laughs> well, I have a couple of comments. Okay. Finn says, this time last year, I started watching y'all. I figured I would just watch a video now and then and maybe learn something. But to think that now you know me by name is pretty darn cool. Thanks a lot. I think it's pretty darn cool that you stayed with us and that we know you by name. Yeah, um, and, and thank you. It means a lot to me when we can get to know individuals more personally, because I, I wish we could do that all the time. Back when we first wrote STP, we got to know most like people. every reader <laughs> personally because there just weren't that many and yeah and now it can be more difficult but those are always the most meaningful stories to me especially to see someone develop over time and and you've definitely done that and, and a lot of people really have like it means so much to see somebody's beginner level photos just become more and more advanced and to just imagine what the potential that they have over the next 20 30 40 years of their life if they keep tracking that way yeah I'm trying to be deep and my hair is like literally coming off my head. Yeah, it's hard when it's that kind of blowing up my spot. It's deep in that situation. <laughs> Follow up, who made your goggles? Oh, Chelsea did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know which camera to go to here, but it's aluminum foil over what some... What are you doing? Those are my prized goggles. <laughs> <laughs> some glasses that we got free from our landscaper. They have... Like landscaping branding on the side. There's cardboard from the Ziploc bag container, and then I put. <laughs> Where did you get your goggles? Maybe <laughs> special <laughs> ordered them from, you know, the Philippines. There's a a craftsman, an artisan craftsman out there who makes these. I feel like you're mocking my goggles. They were handmade with love. So. My wig is actually pretty sweet when it's it's used properly. I can kind of look like a. Somebody said you look like Betty White. <laughs> oh, my favorite. I love That's Betty sexy Moore. as heck. Somebody else said Bill Maher. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what other comments, Siobhan? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, that kills me. Um, question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would a class 10 micro SD in an adapter be as fast as a class 10 SD card? I don't know. <coughs> that was right. a lot of build up. Thank you. <coughs> that was yep, a lot of build up. I don't know that. Um, Just try it. Just try what's it. the scariest or most spooky experience you've ever had? Oh, I'm sure you have a good question for this or a good answer for this. Um, the most. I have to think on this a little bit. I think I know it actually. What? You, you go just to Justin. Told me that story last week. Go. What goes? Oh, when I was babysitting yes. as a teenager. Yes. Oh, when I was a teenager, <laughs> I I'm trying to make this really really short because it's not that great. <laughs> but it was one of my first babysitting gigs, and it was, uh, my grandparents' neighbor had died, and when he died we went in his basement and there was a secret room built into his basement and it was all like Nazi paraphernalia. He was Latvian. And when he died, my grandfather took over his estate and my cousin moved in and she was building a house and she had a baby, blah, blah, blah. A lot of little details coming together. So anyway, my best friend and I at the time go there and we're babysitting and we start talking about the old man and the only thing in the house that's his is a rocking chair and we look over and it rocks two times and just stops dead in its spot. So we're like, I don't know, like 14. We're like, just tears coming down. We're like, did you say that? We're like freaking out. <laughs> we go over to a baby book, name book, and we open it up and it opens up to his name, Adolf. So we're like freaking out. We don't tell anybody. We feel like total chickens. We don't believe in ghosts. That stuff's nuts for us. It's all a coincidence. So we do bring it up to my cousin and she said, uh, yeah, my kids said that they hear an old lady crying in the house all the time. Again, we think nothing of it. We're like, has to be a coincidence. My grandfather sells the house. People move in. And after a few months, they come to his door and say, why didn't you tell us the house was haunted? My kid sees an old woman crying and hears an old woman crying all the time. And we fear, hear footsteps around the house all the time. So I'm a person that doesn't believe in ghosts, but that had to have been uh, a series of... Uh, strange coincidences that we all heard and saw things in that house. Spooky! You nailed that one. Justin or Siobhan, do you guys have good 
spooky stories? I don't know that I really have anything. That was the spookiest story. I only have secondhand ones. Uh. I had some. I had some friends who had creepy experiences when I was a kid, and I thought I did too. But as an adult, I'm a skeptic. Yeah, when I look back, it just seems like everything can be explained. This is really unrelated, but I want to give a shout out to Richard Garriott because Richard Garriott. He made Origin and he made all the like Ultima games. Yeah. In the eighties. If you're like an old nerd. I am an old nerd. You'll know Richard Gary. <laughs> but he lived in Austin and he had this epic house built because he was mega rich and he had it built with like lots of secret passages and stuff. I love secret passages. And he used to do haunted houses. And he would open it up like not to the public, it was by invitation, but he there would be thousands of people there. And uh, one year my dad managed to wrangle an invitation, and so I got to go, but it was like the best haunted house ever. Just a fond childhood memory wow. of also, somebody who also happened to be like my hero at the time. We should do Richard that. Garriott. Make our house into a big haunted house. Yes. Yeah, we could not possibly do it on a Richard <clears throat> Garriott scale. They had a waterfall inside. Wow. And literal secret passages and stuff. One time Madeline's toilet overflowed and we had a waterfall inside. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> okay, well, we should probably head out unless you have anything that's just awesome to bring us, Siobhan. No, she's shaking her head. Okay, thanks for joining us. We'll follow up soon with a thanks Osmo for being review. Spooky. Saturday we'll have Photo Plus, Photo Expo Jason Plus. Jason Mraz, thanks for video. joining us. Tina Fey. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Fey, thank you for joining us. Doc? Not so doc like anymore. No, it got hot. Now you just literally look like a doc. We're live every <laughs> Thursday at 5 looking at your pictures. We'll see you next week where we're looking at a photo story, a three picture story. Piece that together. It'll take you a little bit of work. Go take a new picture. A new picture. Bye, guys. Bye, thanks. Here's Tigar. That is all.